fans back at it again. We're here with Trent Martin, uh, the AE, AAC Media Day linebacker, Tulsa. How are you doing today? Doing good. Doing nice good. to see you. Uh, media Day today, everybody gets together, talk football, talk conference. Uh, what are your thoughts about today's event so far? It's good, you know, uh, every, just being able to see all the teams and meet different players and coaches, and it was great talking there. So it's been good so far. So Tulsa finished a 7-5 and five last year, very good season, 4-4 four and four in the conference, right in the middle of the conference. What do you, what do you feel about this season, and uh, what are your thoughts about uh, moving up into the top, uh, top level of the conference, first and second place? What are some of the changes you made this year with the freshmen coming in, any changes with the coaches? Coaches, any camp changes this year that would be a, a little touch to, to bring a Tulsa back to the top? Yeah, well, you know, I think we have a, a bunch of potential, and one thing that we've really taken in the season is just taking it day by day. You know what I mean? And we've done what we've always done in terms of work ethic in the summer. We just like every team in the nation. We every team works hard in the summer. But now going on into camp is just make sure we take it practice by practice and take get better every day. I'll tell you, the AAC has some great young coaches and some great young talent coming up. Uh, what are your thoughts about the conference and uh, what are your thoughts about the great coaches now joining this conference? It's awesome, you know, just like they just said in, uh, in that room in there, we're a power six conference, you know? And just with all the talent we have from players to coaches, it just continues, it's just really competitive and it's going to stay that way. Yeah, it seems that way. I mean, uh, Power Five, and I'll tell you this, AAC, if there's a Power Six, they're moving right up in there. Yeah. So you're one of the uh, few college players uh, probably out there that are married. Uh, mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, how does that, how does that affect you uh, game day, uh, preparing, knowing that you have a, fa a wife and, uh, you, you know, you're not living so the sort of college, uh, single life, going to school, playing football. Being married takes a lot of responsibility. Preparing for Tulsa football takes a lot of responsibility. What are your thoughts on that? Um, you know what? I, I highly recommend it to other players. It's awesome. I don't seem it. It's not a distraction by any means. Uh, you know, it's just like school and football. Like, I got to put a lot into my marriage every day. But I love being married. I've been married one year. Hey, Paige. And uh, it's been awesome, it's been good. So Tulsa football, headed into this season, where do you think Tulsa will finish this year in a conference? Now, it's a great conference, a lot of competition. Where do you see Tulsa finishing up? You know what, we have goals to, to, finish, to be the conference champs, but at the same time, every, every team, if you go off that, every team here is gonna say they're gonna be conference champs, but at the end of the day, you gotta go out there and do it. So right now, just like I mentioned earlier, we're gonna take it day by day and uh, we're going to finish where we want to finish. You, you yeah. see? <laughs> yeah. Um, defense, you're the linebacker. Defensively, how do you see the defense playing this year? And is it one of the top defenses in the conference? What are your thoughts on the defense? I mean, if you go based off our where we finished, we finished 12th, which is dead last last year. We know that our offense is going to score points. We know if we want to finish where we want to finish next year, we're going to have to step up on defense. It's our second year in the system, schematically, and uh, you know, just being able to go into camp with our whole playbook put together is gonna make a big difference. We got some guys c coming in, and uh, some guys coming back, so I like where we're headed. Yeah, finishing 12th is hard at the bottom of the list. The only way, you, the only place you can go Goes is up. up. So we'll see what happens this year. I mean, uh, any incoming freshman that's going to impact the defense right away, coming in as a true freshman? You know what? You, you hope so. Uh, it's hard to tell. All we seem to do is work out, but you don't know until they put on pads. You know what I mean? I, I've talked to a couple guys. I know Robert Revels, uh, a linebacker, he's coming in. And I think he has a great chance to impact on, uh, make an impact on special teams. Week one, yeah. big rivalry game. Yeah. You ready for week one? Yeah, no, week one's great. San Jose State finished with a uh, with a good bowl win. They're one of those teams who were... They're up and coming yeah. too, you yeah. know? They're, they're up and coming, San Jose. Yeah, but I mean, it's a week one game. Any week one game is... It's a rivalry game. Yeah, yeah, any week one game. I mean, it's just hard to prepare because you don't know what changes they've made and you're going to spend all fall camp kind of watching film, but at the end of the day, you really don't know what they're going to do till that first drive. Well, I'll tell you why, Trent. It was a pleasure speaking yes, with absolutely. you. Absolutely, Good luck this football Thanks, season. All right. All right. And uh, we'll be we'll be keeping an eye on you. This is yes, Mammy Mike coming to you from AAC Media Day in Newport, Rhode Island. Oh, right. baby, game on. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Thank you, pal.
take it.